All right, guys. I just walked out of my friend's house. I'm doing laundry there since they live really close to me. And uh, yeah, as soon as I walked out of their house, look, a couple snowflakes. A couple snowflakes. So I thought we would uh, try to focus in on them. We could get one to three inches tonight, which is good. not the size of the storm, it's how you use it. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's going on here. I don't know if you guys can see any of the snowflakes, but they're, they're really there. I mean, they're super, super, super small. So this is what I like to do. I don't know why I get such a kick out of this. But ever since I was a little kid, you guys, I used to just love the weather. Um, especially the first time I got to actually be in the snow. My parents had a house in Lake Arrowhead. I grew up in Newport Beach. My parents had a house in Lake Arrowhead. And so we would go up to Lake Arrowhead and uh, And they'd get, a, it, it seemed like it was a lot more snow back then, but you know, it's all good. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm not one who, who wants to try to lie to people because I think I'm cool. Um, I, I mean, shit, dude. There are parts of the world that are way colder now than they've ever been. There are parts of the world that are warmer than they've ever been right now. And that's just how the earth works. Like, if you believe in geology and stuff like that, and uh, you look at rock layers, you can see that the earth goes through history. It, it goes through cycles. Like, every 15 to 20,000 years, we hit an ice age, and it just keeps on doing that. Just, and then we come out of it, and we hit it again, and we come out of it. So, we're, we are technically just coming out of an ice age. We're just getting out of an ice age right now, you guys. So, I mean, that's where all of this fucking, you know, so-called global warming is. But these people who always preach that stuff, they don't put their money where their mouth is. I mean, they fly around in their private fucking jets, Al Gore, and live in 20,000 fucking square foot mansions and use a thousand times the fucking footprint that any normal fucking human being uses. So it's just a big money scam, you guys. Don't don't fall for it, but always protect the environment. Always pick up trash. Don't fucking throw trash. Don't dump your oil just random places, you know? Do what you can to support our earth and all this beauty that we got. But don't give up all your income and waste your money for all these fucking, fucking scams, these global warming scams and shit, dude, because that's all it is, bro. That's all it is. It's a Ponzi scheme, the world's best Ponzi scheme. If these people really believed that, the Leonardos and all of them, bro, they wouldn't be fucking flying private jets everywhere, dude. They wouldn't be dry, <laughs> having like, like tactical teams fucking ride with them to keep them safe and secure. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. But anyway, but I do believe in one thing that's very important, as I said, is to, to make sure we absolutely take care of the environment. If you see a piece of trash, pick it up. It's not a big deal, you know, like, uh, Especially living up here, I, I learned that, that that was very, very, very key for me was to learn how to just, uh, you know, not resent people as much because then I'd, I'd be so mad that I, I I wouldn't pick up the trash, which just doesn't make sense. So I try to pick up, up you know, other people's trash and uh, keep my side of the street clean because, uh, you know, we don't want a filthy earth. And I mean, it's, you know, with all these landfills and stuff, it's it just, it really sucks. We're really kind of uh, not doing the best thing, but at the same time, just, uh, just love the earth, man. Love the earth, but don't love it to where you're fucking homeless, supporting other multi-fucking billionaire Ponzi schemists, um, buying carbon credits. Dude, check this out, man. Like, I have, a carbon credit, I'll, 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 sell, I'll sell you for like a thousand dollars and I guarantee you it's, it's gonna keep the earth safe. Like, like, come on dude, don't buy that shit. But anyway. Um, yeah, I don't see any more snowflakes. I wanted you guys just to check out what's going on right now. I'm listening to another one of my bullshit rants. <laughs> um, you guys know already I go off on tangents sometimes, but that's just me. When I'm passionate about things, I I spew it. But and it's okay for people to disagree with me. It's totally okay. I, dude, I have. I mean, dude, that's the fucking greatest thing about America, dude, is that you can disagree without getting your head cut off. You know. But uh, like disagreeing with emotion and disagreeing with fact, completely different things. And most people they disagree with emotion. 
Um, and I don't blame them. Shit. But anyway, saw some more snowflakes, so I thought I'd walk back out here again. Um, got a little break in the clouds up there. Let's see how long it takes for, for this to darken up again. Watch, we'll just stay right here. In like 15 seconds, it'll probably be completely, completely gray again. Maybe not. It's close. Anyway. Right on. So yeah, so this is what's above my house, guys. All these beautiful trees. It's really pretty up here. It really is. I wish all of you had a chance to live up here. I wish all of you had a chance to live up here, but it is what it is. Once again, guys, thank you for uh, for always being supportive. Even the fucking haters out there, dude. Because the fact that I even have any haters who talk shit on my station, dude, that must mean I'm, I'm doing something right. So, amen to that. And, uh, yeah, guys, keep being you guys. Keep showing support because I love to do this. And what makes me even love to do it more is because you guys like it and it makes me happy. So, um, yeah, take care. Peace out.